Okay, welcome back. So, I am here again with the next question. So, on the topic number system and again we are dealing with the dis uh, different varieties of trickier questions or so lengthy calculative questions which appear to be and how to handle them uh, for our CAT examination. So, here is a question for you and as usual I am giving some time to you. You can pause your video or you can take a screenshot whatever way you uh, like and try to solve it on your own. After that we shall discuss how to solve it. Fine, your time starts now. Okay, so I hope you have solved it. Or agar nahi solve kiya hai, to phir se jao, phir se wapas jao, solve karo. Okay, so now it says how many three-digit numbers? How many three-digit numbers exist? Three digit wale kitre numbers hain? Kaise bhai? Kaise chahiye? So the condition is that such that their cubes end with forty-four. That means those numbers whose cube, when you cube them, though they end in forty-four as the last two digits. Of course, the number is not only 44 because we are cubing a three digit number. So, a three digit number when multiply with itself two more times, right? We are cubing it. So, that uh, resultant number must end in 44 as the last two digits. It is something like that. Uh, we are having a three digit number. We are cubing it and it may have several digits. So, and it is ending in 44 as the last two digits, right? So, we are to look for how many such three digit numbers are there. Now, how to find that? Uh, we are not having any calculator or something. How to start? Yes. So, the first point is looking at the unit digit, right? The first step is looking at the unit digit. So, if you look uh, carefully, if you observe carefully, whenever you cube a number, uh, unit digit always depends upon the unit digit of the number being cubed. Jiska bhi aap cube kar rahe ho, uh, what is the unit digit of that number? Uh, the unit digit of the resultant number always depends on that. That's obvious thing, right? Uh, but the pattern is that uh, unit digit of a cube is always fixed. It is. It does not change. Uh, let me clarify further. If a number is ending in one, let let's start with zero. If a number is ending in zero and you cube it, so it will always end in zero, isn't it? Whether it is zero or it is maybe ten. Ten cube ends in zero. 20 cube also ends in 0, 30 cube also ends in 0 and so on. I hope you got the idea. So, if a number is ending in 0, if a number is ending in 0, when you cube it, it will always end in 0, right? Same way if a number is ending in 1, right? So, what will be the unit digit when you cube it? It is always going to be 1, right? 2 cube will end in what? 8, right? So, now whether again it is, uh, whether it is 2 cube only or maybe it is 12 cube or it is 22 cube or 32 cube and so on. So, if a number is ending in 2 and you are cubing it, it the result is always going to end in 8. Same with the next number now, the 3 cube is going to end in 7 and 4 cube is going to end in, tell me, tell me, tell me fast. Yes, it is 4. Okay, okay. See, in this case, we want it to end our cube number and uh, end in 4. That means certainly, uh, my this 3 digit number must end in 4, isn't it? But let's say maybe there are some other possibilities. Let's find out. So, 5 cube ends in 5 and 6 cube ends in 6 only, right? I hope you are checking simultaneously, right? 6 cube is 216, it ends in 6, right? 5 cube is 125, it ends in 5. And same way 15 cube, 25 cube, whatever it be, it is always going to end in 5. It's same way this thing. And now what about 7 cube? So if I multiply 7 with 7, 7 into 7 ends in 9. And when I multiply this 9 again with 7, so 9 into 7 ends in 3, right? So 7 cube always ends in 3. And now what about 8 cube? So 8 cube always ends in 2. If a number is ending in 8, when you cube it, it always ends in 2. And what about 9? The number which is ending in 9, when you cube it, it always ends in what? What, 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 what? Yes, it is 9 again. Okay. So the pattern which I was saying is that, that in all these unit digits of the cube numbers, you will see that all these 10 digits are different. All these standards are different, they do not repeat. That means if a cube number is ending in 0, certainly the basic number was ending in 0. If a cube of a number is ending in 1, the number was ending in 1. So, 0, 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there is no repetition at all. So, it confirms that the number which we are looking for here must be ending in 4 for sure. I hope that part is very clear, right? Now, let's move further. So, this is the first step, this is half done, right? So, half done is good thing, right? It's a good good starting, it's a good starting. 
So what next? What next now? We want the number to end in last two digits as 44. So how to find the last two digits of cube of a number? So for that, we need to understand how to find cube of a number. And here comes handy a very nice uh, method, very nice uh, trick, which you have, all of you have used in your school level, algebraic X identities. Remember algebraic identities? So when you are having something like that, uh, you are finding cube of a maybe uh, A plus B, right? A plus B whole cube. You have done something like this. So when you do cube of a numbers like this, A plus B whole cube, what was the expression? What was the expansion? So the expansion goes something like this. This is A cube, 3A square B, 3AB square and B cube. I hope many of you are familiar with this. Right? So we are going to make use of this thing only. So this I have written in the binomial order, right? You can see the binomial order here, the pattern here. So the powers are gradually decreasing. They are shifting from A to B. Along with that, we are having certain uh, coefficients also, right? Here coefficient is 1 only. Here coefficient is 3. This is 3. This is 1 only, fine? So uh, all the po 3 powers were with A first. Then 1 power was shifted to B. Then 1 more power was shifted to B from A. And finally, all the powers have been shifted to B only, right? So same way, when we find cube of a number, the same thing happens. So for example, if I try to find a cube of a number whose once place digit is B, and the second place digit is let's say a, right? Let's say second place digit is a. So what is going to happen in that case? So when I find cube of this number, so what happens? My unit digit is always given by b cube only. So it, it goes in that order basically. Let me write this in the same manner. So this would be a cube followed by 3a square b followed by 3ab square. This is 3ab square and finally b cube. So basically last digit or unit digit will be obtained by b cube and then the tenth digit will be obtained by 3 into a into b square plus any carry if there was, right? If in b cube there was some carry, so that will be added to this tens place value, right? Same way we get the hundreds place value and the final thousand place value, right? So that's how we can find the cube of any number. So in our case now, let's come back here. In our case, we are having uh, certainly the unit digit is already there. We are having the unit digit to be 4 and this, uh, the remaining digit we are not aware about that what it could be. So let us uh, keep it A only. So if it is A4 cube, let me write here only. If it is A4 cube, what is my objective? My objective is that I want my last two digits to be ending with 4-4, four, four, right? They should be 4-4. Four, four. So when I am doing this, so let me start from the last step only. So last step we are going to get by 4 cube, yes or no? Yes, it is 4 cube. So 4 cube will give in the last place value. Let me write first all the values here. So the next uh, digits we are going to get from 3 into a into 4 square. What is 4 square? Let me write completely first. 3 into a into 4 square. And then the previous value, 100 values, we are going to get by 3 into a square into 4. And for the previous value, we are going to get by a cube. By the way, right now we are concerned about only the last two digits here. So let's see what we are getting in the place of last two digits. So 4 cube is 64, it is 4 and 6 is carried forward. 6 will be added to the remaining part. And what is this value here? This is 16 to the 48, right? So 48A plus the previous 6. So 48A plus 6, that's it. Right? So this is a tens place value. This is ones place value. This is tens place value. I'm not concerned about the further values, further digits here. So basic point is that my objective was to find out the value of A. So how I can get this? So now this 48A plus 6, you can see here, this 48A plus 6, what should be its value? It should end in, it's a unit digit should be 6. Uh, sorry, it should end in 4, right? because I want my last two digits of the number to be 44. So that means this number must end in 4. Can you suggest me any value of A, any single digit value of A, which will make this number ending in 4? Now again, let's go step by step. Let's go again step by step. So what is the first step? You can see this number is already ending in 6, right? You can say, sir, this is ending in 6 already, right? Ye 4 mein end kaise karega? Toh bhai tell me, 6 mein kya number add karna chahiye so that it ends in 4? 6 mein kya add karoge so that it ends in 4? 8, right? Because 6 plus 8 is 
फोर्टीन इट एंड इन फोर राइट तो सिक्स में एट ऐड करूँ या एटीन ऐड करूँ तो बेसिकली वंस प्लेस डिजिट शुड बी एट सो दैट मीन्स द वंस प्लेस डिजिट ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द नंबर फोर्टी एट ए शुड बी एट राइट बिकॉज एट प्लस सिक्स विल एंड इन फोर नाउ कमिंग टू दिस पार्ट हाउ दिस कैन एंड इन एट दिस इज फोर्टी एट इन टू ए तो वट शुड बी द यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ ए मतलब 48 एट इज ऑलरेडी एंडिंग इन 8 तो इस 8 को किससे मल्टीप्लाई करूं व्हाट नंबर शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड विद 8 सो दैट इट एंड्स इन 8 ये क्या बात हुई 8 को किससे मल्टीप्लाई करूं कि 8 में ही एंड करे वन इज एंड इट सो दिस ए कुड बी वन एक्सेलेंट एक्सेलेंट यू गॉट द वैल्यू यू गॉट द वैल्यू राइट सो दिस ए कुड बी वन बट माई क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू इज दैट इज वन द ओनली वैल्यू विच वन मल्टीप्लाइड विद एट रिजल्ट इन एंडिंग इन एट No, there can be more. Let's check. Eight into one ends in eight. Fine. Eight into two doesn't end in eight. Eight into three doesn't end in eight. Eight into four also doesn't end in eight. Eight into five not end in doesn't end in eight. Eight into six. Arey Baba, eight into six ends in eight, right? So that means this a could be six as well, right? A could be six as well. Eight into six is forty-eight, right? Eight into seven doesn't satisfy. Eight into eight, eight into nine, they doesn't satisfy. That's it. So we have got all our values. So this a, or basically here the tens place value, it could be one or six, right? So that means the number which we are looking for, it must be ending in either fourteen or sixty-four, right? Now what about the hundred place value? It could be anything. It could be anything. That means. Uh, if a number is ending in either 14 or 64 when we cube it so resultant number is certainly going to end in 44 so that was the whole numbers analysis so this question was that only how many through digit numbers exist such that their cubes end with 44 now it's uh, just cake walk we have identified the pattern of the numbers the numbers which are something 14 or something 64 their cubes when we cube them they are certainly bound to end in 44 as the last two digit as desired so that's it so it's only three digit number this 100 place can take any value can you suggest me what can be uh, the value at the hundreds place what all different values are possible it could be any right so the minimum value here could be 1 and maximum it could be 9 right so the smallest number here would be 114 Then we have two one four. Then we have three one four, and up to nine one four. So nine these values, these three digit numbers which are ending in fourteen, and simultaneously the numbers which are ending in sixty four. Again, starting with one sixty four, two sixty four, then three sixty four, and we go up to nine sixty four. So effectively, this nine and nine total eighteen such three digit numbers are there. 18 three digit numbers are exist such that their cubes end with 44 that's it right so this is was a small question and appearing to be quite tricky uh, and had involved a lot of concepts here first we discussed about the unit digit of cubes we found that that unit digit of all the cubes uh, has only one source right one source we saw that there was no repetition so if a cube number is ending in 4 certainly the basic number was also ending in 4 right if a cube number is ending in 8 certainly the basic number was ending in 2 if a cube number is ending in 2 the base number was ending in 8 and so on right we have seen that pattern so based on that we understood that certainly my uh, this three digit number is ending in 4 and further what would be the tens digit uh, so that the uh, after cubing uh, the resultant number ends With forty forty four, so that's uh, for that purpose uh, we utilized. We make use of the algebraic identity, and based on that, we identified that this tens place must also end in four. And for that purpose, this a this tens place value of my number could be either one or six. So that's it. That was the end. So my uh, today's number is certainly uh, something hundred fourteen or hundred sixty four, and we got nine numbers in each case. So eighteen is the answer to this question. I hope it is very clear to all of you now. And again, you have got an insight that how you can tackle these kind of questions. So this is not a single question which we are discussing. We are discussing a family of questions through this single question. Right. So wish you luck. Thank you very much. and we shall be again together with some another questions thank you